Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. Today I have some date night outfits to show you. I don't know quite how many we're gonna be working with here. Could be a little, could be a lot. I always tend to do this kind of video around this time of year as you guys seem to really, really love it. If you haven't seen my previous date night outfits videos and you want some slightly different outfit inspo, I'll link my previous date night outfit videos in the info box for you guys to have a look at. My style has changed a little bit, but the most recent one, I would actually say there's so many great outfits in that. That one some that you'll see in a different capacity here but that i would still 100 wear and that i think are great so definitely check that out as well if you feel like you still need a little bit more inspo after this video but yeah hopefully there is something for everyone in this video and i've tried to keep things as coat friendly and cozy as i can given the time of year do let me know though if you want an updated like spring summer one because i can do more of these throughout the year but yeah i'm gonna stop waffling now and get on with the video i really hope you guys enjoy it please let me know which outfit was your favorite in the comments below onto the app. So I'm gonna get started with what is probably one of my favorite outfits of this entire video. I've popped heels on with this one because I think it would be great as like a evening kind of outfit that's not too dressy, like the heels make it dressy basically, but you could easily pair flats with this, whether it's a pair of like loafers, like the Gucci loafers or like any kind of black leather, faux leather loafer. A cute pair of boots, a pair of trainers could even work with this if they're just like a simple white pair, kind of like a tennis trainer that kind of vibe but that kind of shape would go quite well i think with the trousers that i'm wearing for this look so hopefully i'll fit in frame this is the outfit i love this i think this might be my pick for my next date night so i've got this white blouse on from zara which is a new addition to my wardrobe i absolutely love it it tucks so nicely into my also new leather trousers from zara which i already know are going to be a staple in my wardrobe the last video the last date night outfits video that i did in 2020 i had a similar pair to this but they were too big for me then and now they would just be ridiculous so i picked up what is essentially a very similar pair but these fit so much better i'm so happy with these if you are average height or above these are going to look amazing if you're shorter you are going to need to turn them up a little bit at the ankle but i don't mind that at all and like i said i've just popped on a heel these are a really odd pair of top shop heels but they're such a staple in my wardrobe a black strappy heel is one of the best like basic key things to have in your wardrobe especially if you like a date night or just an evening out or just like to elevate an outfit really quickly and really easily these are the item for that and then we've gone for a tiny little bag this one is from Tommy Ford and this bag if you wear it on a first date basically sets the precedent of don't expect me to be putting your stuff in my bag because my bags are always going to be this big trust me it works a treat Ryan has never ever asked to put anything in my bag but yeah it is a really cute little outfit I love a little bag like this for making an outfit look dressy but with minimal effort and at the moment this is obviously a bit more of a dressy kind of look but you could easily make this a little bit more daytime and especially as we go into spring slash even summer you could swap the trousers out for blue jeans and then go with a little pair of sandals that would be really cute as well so it's a really nice versatile little look and as for a coat because i did promise that i wouldn't let you guys freeze personally don't mind going coatless but i know we are not all like that so i think a light colored coat would be perfect with this just so that the shirt doesn't stand out too much because it can look a little bit victorian-esque obviously with the lace and the high collar and then against black that makes it really pop so if you want it to pop crack on but for me i really like it with a cute little new coat i just think it looks really chic okay this look is another one of my favorites you might find that a lot of the uh, all black outfits that's some of my favorites in this video. This coat is one of my favorites to wear on an evening out. It's just so smart. It's really streamlined. I feel really, really good in this. It's also very warm and you've got the tie waist to it. So you can really cinch it in, but also kind of like bundle up a little bit in it. And it's nice and smart as well. So it works really, really well with a cute like top pair of trousers, heels combo. This is from River Island a fair few years ago but Zara and places like that always do new updated versions of this you can always find a similar version quite easily on the high street I've then also got the same Tom Ford bag as before the base of this outfit is very very similar to the previous one and then underneath 
I have got on a top which is from Zara. It's quite an old one now. It's actually got like a peplum design to it, which I don't love. It hits too low on me for where my body also goes out, but it looks gorgeous tucked into high-waisted items. It's got a nice elasticated back. So there's a little bit of breathing room in it as well. And it works really, really nicely with these trousers. And as you can see, the trousers and heel combo is the same. This kind of leather trouser black heel combo is such a great staple to have in your wardrobe, whether it's for date nights or just like evenings out or just even on an everyday basis for like smart meetings, that kind of vibe. It's a great little combo to have in your wardrobe and one that you can really dress up, dress down, make it smarter, make it more casual. I highly recommend having a pair of trousers like this in your wardrobe for sure. So yeah, love this one. It just looks cute whether the coat is on or off and I think that is such an essential part of day night dressing. At this time of year you need to be warm but you also want to look cute underneath. So yeah, absolutely love this and this clutch is actually really great. You can take the strap off as well. I really like it with the chain. I just think it makes it a little bit more casual and a little bit more effortless which i really like for date nights like it's kind of like i look nice but not trying as hard as if i were going like out out you know it's also worth noting this top it's such a cute top it's actually very versatile and will go with a lot of the other items in this video so we've got the black leather shorts this would work perfectly you can keep the same shoes it's just really nice and easy quite a dressy one really and then you've got a midi skirt which would also look so so gorgeous with a top like this and then the really simple heels and if you wanted to keep things a bit more casual you could also go for blue jeans as well which would also be equally very very cute and maybe a little blazer over the top on that note a blazer would work really really well with this outfit as well so this one is from zara you'll see me using it a lot in this video because it's probably one of the best items that i have in my wardrobe it's got a nice oversized fit to it and just like makes everything look smart and dressier but without being too formal now this outfit actually breaks my number one cardinal rule of like date night outfits which is to always have something that is quite fitted whether it's top or bottom i normally combine like a baggier trouser with a tighter top or a baggier top with a tighter bottom and then maybe a heel to really streamline the silhouette and to enhance my figure however this is an exception to the rule and the reason for that is that actually ryan style will be in this outfit over the christmas period and i absolutely loved it so we've got this white silky shirt from zara i absolutely love this one so cute so comfortable feels so luxurious honestly i could not recommend these shirts enough i have the black one on my rail as well these are absolute staples in my wardrobe and then i've got this pair of trousers which are from river island and they i can't tell you how much i love these trousers they're an amazing one both for work but also just like the weekends if i want to like look nice but pull together a really simple outfit these work beautifully with like just a long sleeve black body it looks so chic if we're having friends over for dinner i literally can just wear like the black body these my slippers and i look immediately pulled together but so comfy because hello elasticated waistband so yeah i absolutely love them i think the white stripe then makes it pair perfectly with the white shirt when i wore this over christmas i actually wore it with these shoes down here as well but for today i've just kept it a bit more low-key just gone with a pair of pointed boots from i believe these were asos i think they're top shop like 2019 2020 but they are a very good dupe for the ysl boots like so dupey it's unreal dupey let's roll with it and i've just kept the same bag as before this tom ford one is so so versatile i just love how simple it is the gold hardware which is so like warm and lovely against this outfit just adds a touch of warmth to what is essentially a very cool neutral outfit however you could go for a little bit of sparkle as well which if i was wearing those shoes i would 100 percent be wearing this bag but i'm gonna save this one properly for later but this bag is incredible and again still has that same vibe of don't ask me to put your stuff in my bag because i don't have room and i never will but yeah absolutely love this outfit and it looks really cute just with a really simple black long coat as well this does make it look a little bit more workwear you could go for a leather jacket i'm not so sold on the leather jacket with these trousers but just a coat like this i always find is like so warm and snuggly and this time of year that is priority and it has the tie waist so you still kind of like can cinch things in a little bit so this one i love i've been dying for a date night or a dinner out evening like i actually haven't eaten out in so long but i've been dying for an evening out so that i get a chance to wear this shirt this is from zara i'm absolutely beyond obsessed with it it's got this like really cool 
tie waist feature it looks a lot more brown on camera but it's like a khaki or khaki green it's so so cute like a little bit military inspired i just love it it fits really nicely the length is really good like not too long i feel like it hits at like the perfect point on me and then i've just got a pair of river island skinny jeans on i believe these are the black sculpted jeans and they they do some sculpting they're a good pair of jeans i can confirm not too high-waisted which i personally prefer for dinners out if I'm gonna wear like a skinny tight jean. They come to around here on me, so just about where my belly button is. And I find that that's a much better point for them to peak rather than further up. And then when I'm sat down eating, it kind of is a bit too restrictive. Just having a little bit of a lower jean or the shirt over the top, so you can't even tell. It's just a lot more comfortable for dinners out. My shoes are the same with Topshop boots and my bag, I've gone for my little Chanel bag. I basically just picked this. It was any top handle bag in my collection, basically. I just think they make an outfit look a little bit more dressy i've just tucked the longer chain inside the bag i'm just working with the top handle and i just think it's kind of cute playful and i really like that kind of vibe like it's a little bit romantic and that ties in perfectly with the theme of the video and for coats i would actually go with i'd probably go with a, if you wanted to go for a coat go with a black coat i personally love this look with my blazer I just think it looks so cool, especially slung over the shoulders. This might be a little bit too power dressy for some, but I actually really like this for like an evening dinner look. If you don't want to look too formal, but you still want to look really, really cute. Once you take the blazer off, it's just like the cutest shirt. It's cinched in at the waist. It's very figure flattering and like elongating. Got this part of the shirt, which basically covers a food baby. I can see no downside to this outfit for me personally. Yeah, what do we think? Do you hate this one or rate this one? I personally, I think it's up there in one of my top outfits. Okay, so this outfit is actually based on an outfit that I wore when Brian and I went for a date night at the Shah, which is definitely up there as one of my favourite dates. So this outfit has a lot of very special memories for me. I absolutely love it. So I've got my Zara kind of square neck top on, which gives a lot of structure. I really like this one. I actually wore a slightly different one for our date at the Shah, but this one I think is much better actually. It's a lot more fitted, but like holds you in. I just absolutely love it. I feel like it really cinched in the waist. And then my trousers are also from Zara. These ones I just absolutely love. I bought these last spring, took them up so that they are perfect for like my little leg height and I just can't get enough of them. I don't know it was actually part of a whole experience with Jimmy Choo. So on that occasion, I actually wore some sparkly Jimmy Choo's that are very similar to the shoes that I'm wearing now, but these are my own heels from a brand called Mac and Mac and I just absolutely adore these. I wore them throughout the festive season but I think you can still get away with them this time of year, especially for a special occasion with a black and white outfit. I think it works so well and then I've also gone for my little sparkly bag which I love so much. You can get a decent amount in here like your phone, wallet, keys, yeah, everything are going to fit in here. My vlogging camera would fit in here and then it's also got this long chain so if you wanted to have it long you could and then for a jacket i would probably go for we'll probably go for my zara blazer just thrown over my shoulders really like effortless it's not going to keep me the most warm but to be honest i'll take it for this outfit i absolutely love it and it's one of those outfits that i would wear when we're going from like cab to venue kind of vibes so it wouldn't be the worst however if we're going on a bar crawl i'm going to be wearing one of the outfits that involve a coat so the next look is one that I think you can make work for now, but does also work really, really well going into spring. And those of you in warmer climates will find this one perfect now. But I've just gone for the same top that I had on before, that Zara square neck top. By the way, if you're thinking, her boobs are really squished in everything today, it's because they are. They've done that thing where they decide to double in size for absolutely no reason whatsoever. And I was not prepared. I was not prepared. So yeah, they just look squashed today and we will just have to deal with that because it'd be like that sometimes. This look is perfect with just a long line wall coat. You can leave it open, you can do it up, whatever you want. I'm going for a cute top handle bag and then my jeans are from Zara. These ones I actually need to trim the bottom and just take them up a little bit because they're meant to be a bit more cropped than they actually are right now. But I can wear them right now with a heel and they don't look too weird, but we're never with flats right now but i love like a cropped 
flared pair of jeans with a strappy heel. It's one of those outfit combinations that I wore so, so much last summer and I think still works well in winter for evenings if you're prepared for your feet to be cold. Otherwise, not so much, but I personally really like an outfit like this. Just for evenings, I find it's really chic, it's really simple. You just can't go wrong with a combination like this. And the coat is obviously doing bits keeping me warm. This is one from All Saints. Probably needs a little bit of a lint roller, but this is like one of my go-to staple coats in my wardrobe. I absolutely love it. I've had it for, I think about three years now, and it's just an absolute staple. It's so versatile. You could also go with a blazer as well, if you didn't mind being a bit chillier. And as we go into spring, it would also work well, not only with a blazer, but with a simple black trench. This one is from H&M. It's really flowy. I absolutely love it. And this looks very cool with a number of outfits, especially if you're wearing something with like bare legs or tights underneath and then a pair of boots and then you like do it up and you just got a little bit of leg. Love this trench so much. But yeah, it also works really nicely with this outfit. It's really relaxed, but it's like dressy at the same time. Like you've made an effort, but not too much. That's the vibe. Always. So this next look is an old favourite of mine. And one that works really well, whether it's winter or we're going in spring, you can just literally like lose layers and go for a thinner knit. It also works really well for daytime or evening, depending on what you're doing. I would say for evening, just go for a jumper that maybe has a lower neckline, more of a round neck rather than like a high neck and maybe less of a like wool feel just so you're not overheating. But for daytime, this is a really nice one. It works really, really beautifully with like an oversized leather jacket which I will show you in a second. It also works really well with a blazer for evenings and with a long line wool coat like the one I showed you earlier for evenings. It's really really versatile and as we go into spring you can also switch out the boots for trainers if it's more of a daytime outfit or like strappy little black heels for the evening. So this one really does do the most. I've been wearing this one on rotation for years now. I absolutely love it. It's not particularly figure hugging which is one of the reasons why I really like it for dates especially if you don't know the scenario that you're going into. This look can get you through a lot of social occasions very very easily. You can even layer like lighter bodies underneath it as well so that if you want to lose the nip for example and make it look a bit smarter you can do that very easily. You could also pair a cute pair of tights like I would love to pair my Fendi tights with this look just so you get a little bit of the tights poking out every so often through the slit in the skirt. So the knit is from top shop i believe a few years ago the skirt is from zara they do one like this every single spring i promise you so if it's not on the website right now i guarantee you it will be soon and then the boots are from mango and these are a great little pair that will get you through so many different occasions whether it's day or night because the heel height isn't too high and these are really great particularly in the winter because they help keep my legs nice and warm underneath a midi skirt like this so this is the look with the oversized leather jacket over the top. I really like this. The leather just offsets the softer materials that we're working with in this outfit really, really nicely. This would make a good day to night outfit as well. If you were, say, out in the day with your friends and then you were going on a date in the evening, trainers in the day, boots in the evening, or flat boots with this in the day, and then change into the heel boot in the evening. Yeah, it's probably my most versatile one. Okay, so this next outfit is another good old day to night one. The current state being the evening vibe. I'm also going to show you a different jacket option, but I just thought I'd start with the warmest, quite frankly. So I've got my All Saints coat on again, just literally thrown over my shoulders. I've got a long sleeve top on from Zara. This is like a knitted top. It keeps me really nice and warm this time of year. I've then got an old pair of Topshop leather shorts on which i didn't know i had i found them in my loft and they fit like a dream and they're a tie waist as well so they really cinch you in they're very very flattering so i'll show you the look without the coat in a second i then got my fendi tights which i just think add a little bit of fun to this outfit you can wear like whatever pattern no pattern i quite like a what is it like 40 denier is that how you say it tight like the ones that are like black but they're bit sheer. I quite like them with this kind of look. And then I've gone for the mango boot again. I just really like the way this look kind of works together. I would definitely say with your coat or jacket, play with oversized proportions because this is a lot more fitted. There's a lot more leg out. And because of that, I really like to play around with the silhouette. And then I also have the Zara blazer, which I think works really nicely because it is fairly oversized and like boxy. So it kind of adds a bit more weight to the top half because you're obviously very streamlined on the bottom it just helps to really balance out the outfit i love it i think it's really cute it's a good length as well for the shorts so this is 
look with the blazer, which I think I would personally go for this just because I'm a bit more like fashion over function. Is that the phrase? Basically, I'll be cold if it means that I can look cute. But then I also love the daytime version of this. So I would go with my Fendi lace-up boots, but you can go for any lace-up boot. I really like these though because the detail on them actually matches the tights. If I had a plain black pair, I'd probably go for the plain black as well, but these are my plain black pair. But yeah, just a flat lace-up boot, really nice for daytime, not too casual like a trainer would be, but also not too dressy either. And then I really like it with the blazer over the top as well, but you can also go for a nice long coat and be really warm. This is like borderline everyday outfit territory, I know, and I know this is meant to be a date night, outfit but just to show some day to night transitional outfits as well to give a bit of versatility so this next outfit is one that is another great day to night outfit literally you could just change the shoe and be ready to roll i've got the same zara blazer on and then a knit from zara that has a cut out shoulder my zara trousers my night air mat I can't remember what they're called. I will link them if they're still available. I got them off ASOS. And then my little Louis Vuitton with the top handle. Again, top handle bags, just love them. And they give you something to do with your hands if you're nervous. So fortunately, I don't have that issue anymore. But back in the day, they just gave us something to hang on to. But yeah, I really like this one. It works well as well without the jacket. So as we go into spring, you can literally just ditch the jacket and have the outfit like this. And then it also works really nicely with the pair of black strappy heels like the ones i wore earlier and the thing i love about this outfit is the cut out shoulder i just think it's cozy and it's great as well if you're nervous and you like to have long sleeves i find that really helpful but the little cold shoulder we've got here also just it's a little bit cute and a little bit fun i cannot count how many times i've taken this pair of shoes on and off today this is the most action they've had since 2019 guys okay i'm gonna swap the bag out just for the hell of it so we've got the little Tom Ford clutch, which I just love. So there you have it, it's cute, it's fun, minimal effort, but it looks really cool together, but not too over the top. Love this one. And again, with the blazer, but you can also just go any black coat really, work with what you have. This is literally just inspo. But yeah, really, really love this look. It's just really nice and easy. And finally, this is an outfit that has been worn on so many days that I've lost count. Whenever I'm having that panic of, oh my God, I literally have five minutes to get ready, what do I wear? Which happens often because I work until the last dying second. This is what I've always gone for in different capacities. So at the moment, I really like these Zara crop t-shirts. They were a staple for me throughout last summer and they're really, really handy for the winter time as well. I've then popped my Zara blazer over the top. I've gone for my Zara blue mom jeans and I've had various different pairs of Zara blue mom jeans over the years and always worn those and then I've just got the Topshop strappy heels if you don't feel like wearing the blazer if it's too smart if it's not your vibe pair it with like an oversized leather jacket especially like my oversized leather jacket it's quite similar in its proportions to this blazer so I know that it will just always work if you want something dressier a heeled boot will always work just as well this is such a versatile base outfit to have in your wardrobe honestly it's fail safe for any occasion but especially for dates it's just kind of like cute relaxed like you can literally do no wrong in this little outfit and you can layer up depending on the weather so i might choose to throw on a long coat over the top of this for when i'm outside and then when i'm inside i'll wear this but going into spring summer i'll just do the blazer and then when i'm inside take the blazer off again versatile god please don't drink every time i say cute and versatile today but yeah just a really nice easy throw on outfit that i find is very very foolproof so we have now reached 10 outfits i could go on forever because these are some of my favorite kinds of outfits to put together but i think i'm gonna leave it there i hope this video was helpful for you or just provided some even if it's like not date night inspo it's just everyday general styling inspo some of them are so simple but sometimes i find just having a refresher on like the most simple of outfits is actually the most helpful because they're honestly some of my favorites and i actually use these videos for me to reflect back on so i'm always going to include some very basic outfits literally it's just a reminder for myself but i hope this has been helpful to those of you who ask me about date night styling honestly the thing that no one ever really tells you is that actually you can wear anything and you should wear anything you want on a date i personally don't believe you should kind of like change to fit someone else so you wear 
wear whatever you like it doesn't matter if they don't like it like literally just dress as you would if you're going out with the girls if you're going out out just depends on the situation but don't feel like because it's a date you have to dress a certain way like on one of our first dates ryan wore the bougiest pair of trousers i've ever seen he loves a wild trouser and my thought wasn't oh my god it was oh great i can wear my jazzy trousers i love that so if they're the right person for you they will appreciate your personal style whatever you wear but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video i love you lots and i'll see you again in my next video